wanted to question one of the ego's messages that I think we get if we're on our uh, way to becoming more spiritually focused, which is peace will be dull. It's a very stimulating world, especially here in first world country like United States. Um, it's There's so much stimulation that we can become addicted to it. The stimulation basically gives us uh, an opportunity to avoid how we feel. And how we feel is often uncomfortable <laughs> because there's so many messages about what brings uh, happiness in the world. And, uh, phew, we oftentimes lose track with what our higher self knows, which is that a peaceful mind is what brings true, sustainable happiness. Not just the peaks and valleys that most people experience, but an ongoing state of well-being. And one of the things I've noticed is that in the last 12 years or so, I've worked for myself from home, and for quite a while now, I've only had to work maybe half an hour a day on average or less. And that gives me a lot of spaciousness. And so I have a very different take on the world from people who are busy with working and so forth. Because when you're working, you're like this, you know, you're always in motion and always like doing. And so it comes for time off and it's like, well, I'm going to go over here. So I go to the store. And I buy things online because I just don't find stores interesting. And, um, or you say, I'm going to go over here to a restaurant, and I eat at home because I don't find restaurants to be very contactful or, or interesting either. Or people say, let's go to the movies, and I watch movies at home on DVD, Blu-ray, whatever, because I feel it's a more enjoyable way. And I tend to pause a lot <laughs> to either, like, get something to eat or take a break or something else comes up. So my point is that when you're working all the time then you're used to being on the go. And so when you have time off you don't know what to do with yourself. Uh, my mom was kind of like that. I felt that she had some workaholic tendencies and so if we were on vacation then she had to be doing something, reading, stimulating her mind. But being was a challenge. And being is a challenge for, you know, almost everyone, really. But uh, the thing about peacefulness is that even though you might fear that it is dull, it is actually very stimulating. It's not, you know, the ego says, well, if you're just peaceful all the time, if you're at peace and you're not looking and questing and desiring, it'll be understimulating. But what happens when your mind is peaceful is that everything feels stimulating, but not overstimulating. It feels alive. There's an aliveness in, in everything. And, and simplicity becomes enough. And you might do things that are more complex in nature, but you'll bring a presence and a simplicity to these things as well, which is comfortable. There can be an arousal sometimes of, of, of an excitement about, ah, things are going great and just wanting to ride that wave. But there's also something of like taking that energy and just saying, okay, I'm feeling very high, I'm feeling very good, and I'm going to sustain that. I'm not going to try to crest that wave. I'm going to just be like a river that's flowing continuing to flow eternally and letting that be enough because from a peaceful place there is a uh, fundamental enjoyment of the most simple things. You can have a very pleasant happy experience just going to your mailbox. You know, doing the, the simplest things can be full of aliveness 
if your mind is at peace, if you've resolved your inner conflicts, if you have connected with who you really are, lived in integrity, be honest and deal with unfinished business and get to that peaceful place, it's not dull. <laughs> <laughs>